Hello, my name is Jeff Phillips. I'm a photographer and an artist in residence for CPS Lives. For the last two years, I've been photographing at Phoenix Military Academy, which is a JROTC public high school located in Chicago's near West Side neighborhood. For the next few minutes, I'm going to share with you what I saw and a little of what I learned. As artists for CPS Lives, we have a variety of objectives, but one of them is to find and share a positive story about the school that we're in. I had some serious reservations going into my school at first because the idea of a militarized school, or what I believed it to be, didn't align with my values, and I wondered if I could even find a positive story in the place that I was going to spend a year at. As I was preparing for the assignment, I started asking my friends and colleagues what their feelings were about military high schools. I got all kinds of responses like, well, it's just a veiled recruiting station for the US Army, it's an all boys school, it's run by ex-military men, or it's a reform school for problem kids. In my first few weeks there, it almost seemed like my assumptions were being confirmed. The students were in formation, standing at attention. I was told, these are not students, they're cadets. Each cadet was a unit of a squad, which was a unit of a company, which was a unit of the battalion. As the year progressed and I spent more time with the cadets in the classroom, the gymnasium, the cafeteria, the metal detector line in the morning, I learned that so many of the assumptions that I had were terribly wrong. So before long, my objective, my positive story for the project, was really to dispel the kinds of false assumptions that we have about military schools. And to prove this was the case and it was widespread, I started sending images I was making to my friends and colleagues. And I asked them, what do you see in this scene? In this scene, for example, many saw a complicit young woman being inspected by a male superior. In fact, she's the higher ranking cadet, she's inspecting his uniform. The student government consists of nine cadets and six of them are young women and they are the ones in power. Here you can see non-staff recruiters measuring incoming freshmen for the uniforms that they'll wear when they return in the fall. But in spite of that, I was surprised to learn that less than 5% of the cadets enter the military after graduation and more than 40% go to college, often with a full scholarship, without any commitment at all to the army. Reactions to this image range from self-defense class to the cadets being taught hand-to-hand -hand combat techniques. In reality, this was a theater class and they were practicing a scene from Shakespeare's Othello. This is Mr. Edwards' literature class. His students rave about him. And in fact, this is what classrooms look like all across Phoenix Military Academy. Starkly different than what I'd imagined before I started photographing here. There were other answers that I wanted to find as well. One was, are the cadets here any different than any other teenager at any high school in the city? A JROTC military school teenager is just like any other. They're energetic, they're moody, flirty, silly, awkward, but they're also polite, respectful, and attentive. Cadets in this school may have been quiet and complicit during morning formation ceremonies, but in the classroom, they have voices. They rally, they fundraise, they make music, they make art. As the end of the school year approached, only senior prom and graduation remained. This was the first time that my colors and my photographs included anything besides blue, gray, and maroon. And it's easy to make a picture like this, but I still come back to it very often because it's something about their joy. When Lori Lightfoot was inaugurated as our new mayor, Phoenix Military's color guard was chosen for her ceremony at Wintrust. There are so many moments like these that happen throughout the year that I wish I could share with you in a few short minutes. By graduation day, many of these resilient young adults had overcome more adversity than I will ever experience. I really do have a strong sense that if these are the kids that will shape our future, everything's going to be just fine.